Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly, and today in this video I'm gonna show how to install macOS Venture on unsupported Macs. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now, let's begin. Before getting into the process, make sure to back up your Mac. For this purpose, you require the working internet connection and open core legacy patcher. You can download the open core legacy patcher from the link given under the video description. After downloading Open Core Legacy Patcher, open it. After opening OCLP, click on Create macOS Installer and, after that, click on Download macOS Installer. Now, after the catalog is loaded, click on macOS 13 and, the installer will be downloaded in a while, depending on your internet speed. After the installer is downloaded and extracted to the application folder, click on the flash installer option and, after that, plug in any USB with a minimum 16 GB capacity. Now, after the USB appears, click on the downloaded macOS version in OCLP and, then select your USB and, proceed with the prompts. After the installer is created and, you get this dialog, click on Install Open Core to Disk Option. After OCLP finishes building the configuration, click on Install to Disk Option and, after the disks are loaded, select your USB, then the EFI partition and, proceed with the prompts. Now, after getting this dialog, click on Reboot and, during the reboot, press and hold the Option key on your keyboard. After reaching the Startup Manager, select Open Core EFI Boot option and, press Enter key and, after that, select Install macOS Venture and, press the Return key to boot. And now, select Disk Utility, and click on Continue. Here, click on View, and select Show All Devices, and now select your main drive, instead of any partition, and then click on Erase button, and erase the drive with the following parameters. Click on Done and, close Disk Utility, now select Install macOS Venture, and then click on Continue and, now proceed with the installer. Here select the drive created, and click on Continue. Keep in mind that, during this installation process, your Mac will restart several times, so don't worry about that.
macOS Venture Setup screen appeared. Set up your Mac accordingly. macOS contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. If you would like to learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac, press the Escape key. Now, after setting up your Mac, in a while, you'll get this dialog on your screen. Just click on OK and, after it builds the configuration, click on Install to Disk option and, after the disk loads, select your internal drive, then its EFI partition and, proceed with all prompts. By doing this, you no longer need any SB for booting macOS Venture on your unsupported Mac. And now, just click on Reboot and, after that, remove the install USB, and then you can continue using your Mac. And now, let me show you the hardware configuration of this unsupported Mac. And everything works perfectly, as expected. So, that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.